All right, so now we got to reach the cultist shrine. Um, let's go ahead and donate. So let's trade. So it's called heroic. Let's just trade all. Okay. I wonder how far we can go in the beta, level-wise. I must return to the fight. Okay, so the more I'm in combat, the more damage I do. So is this rage? Okay, so rage is more effective. <coughs> Excuse me. So it looks like I'll be doing more damage as long as I stay in combat, if I can. So it's a good. It's good. It has the um, the chain. Keep him in combat. Keep the rage going. So if you like a character that's just not not stop non-stop combat and not really like setups, I guess you can say, just straight in there. Then this guy's the the character for you. Let's go over him. Oh, I'm kind of scared here. There's a shaman. Let's kill the shaman. And we kept the right click so we can heal. Oh, I'm getting cornered here. Let's back up. We don't have a potion. We have this though. These guys are super annoying. Let's give them a little spike. I need to fight. Yeah, super tanky. Let's get out of that. They explode. <clears throat> Let's pick up everything. And the fragments, um, I'm sure the fragments will be of use to us. I just forgot what they use, uh, are used for, so I apologize. We'll figure it out, though. Ooh, is that a legendary? Or heroic, excuse me? Yes. Do that. Yeah, I just wish the, um, the UI was a little bit closer and a little bit uh, a little bit bigger and a little bit closer to the center of the screen I don't know if I can move this though. what does this do okay Stay in combat. See how long I keep my stacks going. Okay, so it looks like. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say when you hit 20 stacks, it doesn't refresh, but it looks like it still does. Okay. I think this is our first like actual boss. So we gotta be careful here. There's a shit ton of things here. Okay. Okay, we do have our... Let's go ahead and use it. Why can't I move? You know, I'm trying to move, but it won't let me. That was weird. Oh, we got a... Okay, so... When you use your bloodlust, it looks like you get a lot of fragments. Let's back up. I don't know what he does when he does that. 
Okay, yeah, okay. I remember now. He does an AoE that you have to get out of. It does a lot of damage. Let's go get these fragments. I don't know if they uh, disappear. Let's make sure we get them. I don't know what he's doing. Okay, we should be able to kill him here. Nice, he went down pretty fast. We got some good loot for that. Got an eye patch. Got some boots. More damage. Hundred twelve damage. This is a hundred six. Okay, so this is. How do I? Sorry, let me figure this out real quick. This is so weird. Okay, it's like wonky how you equip the. Um... So basically, what I did is I, the. Axe that I wanted in my main hand, I just dragged it, and then the other axe I wanted in my off hand, I right clicked it. So it's kind of kind of wonky. Okay. So we have to open up this barrier. I need to fight. Let's group them up. I don't have leap yet. Once I do, they're all gonna get destroyed. All right, this is not gonna be fun. I gotta be really careful here. Where's the shaman at? Did I kill him? I think I did. So we have max stack, so we should be able to rip this thing up. I mean, it's still pretty good damage. I mean, these things are uh, the th tankiest, like, normal mobs that I've fought so far, so not bad. How about this? Shaman, yep, he's right there. I need to fight. Let's give them a little fight. There we go. So satisfying doing that damn the stomp. Let's get some health. Yeah, it's the, the thing's really good at getting out of situations as well. So let's see. We got a new ring. Uh, nah. Check out Axe Throw. So it's a generator. It does 730 damage. Um, I'm sure it's really slow. So let's put it on four. That's cool. Okay, so it looks like there may be some sort of ranged build. Looks like it... Let's see if it pierces through enemies. I don't think it does. No, it's a single target. That's good, uh, of course, for <laughs> hitting things from afar. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, one down. One to go. We'll keep Axe Toss for now. Just gives us uh, some more range, just if we need it. 
I honestly don't know if running is better than doing this spamming this chain move, but I like doing it so. Looks like it might be slightly faster if I time it right. Unless there's enemies, of course. Save our leap. Yeah, animations look really, really good in this game. Okay, let's find a shaman. Hopefully kill him before... Oh god, I'm gonna be stuck here. Did we kill the shaman? No, we did not. Thank you, sir. That guy actually slapped me towards him. Go ahead and use a potion. Max stat. Yeah, max stats. So let's go ahead and Ah oh, man. Ran right back into it. Did I miss something? Where's the other switch? Or is it back here? Probably should look a little bit further. Yeah. Awesome. <clears throat> All right. Is this gonna be like a super boss? I think it. If I, if my memory, if my memory serves me correctly, it should be a super boss. I feel like I'm being so lazy doing this. But I don't know if it's the best way of movement. Okay. Behold, brothers and sisters, the eye of Arga. Lord Nurgle is pleased at Magnus's fall, and he has favored me with his blessing. Asavar Kul is dead. But soon, a new chaos lord will rise. Oops. Return to the cultist shrine. Oh, we get to kill these guys? Awesome. three chests. Nice. Oh man, I'm getting legendary each. That's pretty sick. Oh, did I? Aw. Okay. Do I still get the chance to pick it up? I've got good news and bad news. The good news is that the cultists are dead, and I've got their precious relics. And? And Kessler got away. I tried to stop him. Don't think I didn't. But he wasn't some wretched little cult leader. He was as bad as anything we bought at Kislev, or I'm no dwarf. We have underestimated our foe, High Law Master. This is no mere cult leader we're dealing with, but possibly a champion of Nurgle, blessed by the Unclean One itself. Mm. I like his, na his name's the Unclean the One. Of the Ungors. Kessler has summoned them to form his warband and solidify his power. Ungors? Warband? What's it all mean? It says that the cult was the least of our worries. They were nothing more than a means to an end. We must find Kessler, and quickly. Meet me back at the tower when you are ready to proceed. Okay. Can I still pick this up, please? Awesome. 
Okay, what do we get? Yep. Damage less defense. Yep. Yep. But let's see. Why can't I? So, 166 damage, 18 crit. Yeah. This is so annoying. So, in order for us to... We just have to unequip and re-equip the offhand by pressing right click. Did I level up? That's weird. At the bottom it says, look, it's saying control. Okay, it's fixed it, so. I'm not crazy. It was saying, like, the controller uh, key binds or bindings. Ooh, I'm getting a bunch of gems. God's favors unlocks. Unlocked. <clears throat> Your God now grants you powerful blessings. He's going to change for rewards. Do you give us offerings? Okay. All right, yeah. So that's what the the fragments are for. You're about to see here. You have your own little skill tree. So we start off here in the middle, 1% damage. And we can branch off. I have a shit ton of gems. At least these sun ones. I don't know what that means. Critical hit damage. What's down here? Critical hit damage, 100%. Hmm. This is raw damage. Man, this makes me kind of excited. <laughs> it's not as, like, crazy as PoE, but it's something. I wonder if you are going to be able to get all the points eventually. This is more tanky. This is more damage. I kind of want to get this Mountain's Wrath. So we'll go ahead, go for it. I don't think I'll have enough points. Oh, I think I will. So the how much it's going to cost is on the bottom right, of course, and then yours is on the bottom left. And I have 10 favorite points remaining. So we'll go ahead and get that skill. Is there a crit chance? The lower your health, the more damage is... Okay. Counterattack. So what, what I want to go for here, oh, this is good. 20% damage and health. So we'll probably go this route, the um, AOE and more tanky. Critical damage. I don't think there's a crit chance. So it looks like we want to just straight build crit chance. And I'm running out of blue points here. So we'll save it. Can I resave it? Is that it? Okay. So we got two new skills. I think we got a passive and an active. So I think, if I'm correct, okay, passive god skills. Grants a bonus damage against all enemies with low health. I definitely want that. I have two points, but we can definitely take some stuff out here. Um. Let's take this out. Add this in. And then, is there active god skills? Okay. Six points. <clears throat> so we have to sacrifice... Looks like we're going to have to sacrifice two things here, if we want this. Hmm. So what we'll do is we will sacrifice can we swap these i want this at one so two then we have seven points so what we'll do here is we'll just take the level one of that uh passive that we had boom we have three points available so next time we get a point we could upgrade this to uh, the superior so what I'm rocking right now I must return to the fight. is that like a like a burst of AOE, and then I could just single target or use my left click and my right click to kill the rest of them off. So we'll see how it goes. Let's trade all this. 
next rep. Okay, I guess those golden... Okay, the golden crowns are used for the god passive tree as well. Do we get anything else? One cleanup. Thank you for your good work. Here's a little reward. Sweet. There is no time to <clears throat> waste, Braggy. The champion of Nurgle is loose beneath the streets of Nome, and the city is in terrible danger. Grimnir's beard. We wiped out the damned cult. How could things be worse? A chaos cult is an extension of its master. Most are nothing more than depraved souls dabbling in powers beyond their ken. But Kessler is different. Somehow he learned enough forbidden lore to win Nurgle's blessing and rise to the rank of champion. I should have guessed the truth when you first fought the Ungors. No human cult could command such loyalty from the Beastmen. They are here to form the Chaos Champions' war back. They will have been promised blood and flesh in return for their service. Now that the champion has ascended, he must pay their <coughs> price or risk the wrath of Nurgle. I have sensed the presence of Chaos magic Oops, deep sorry in about the that. sewers. Search the area and follow Kessler's trail back to his lair. Once we've found his hidden cup, we will decide what to do next. Okay. See if this build works out. What is this? Okay. So that was the blessing of luck that we were looking at. So it looks like, yeah, we're going to be getting a bunch of crit damage from the skill tree. So we want to focus on crit strike for our build. And it looks like that my... Oh my god. What's the cooldown on that? 54 seconds. Not bad. A little bit slower with clearing like the these um, smaller packs after I use the my cooldowns, but not too bad. We still have the leap that comes down comes back pretty fast. Shaman right there. <clears throat> okay. I'm liking this build so far. Where's the shaman? And I need to remember to use my Blood Rage. I think when you go back to town or something, it doesn't, you don't, can't use it anymore. Okay, so let's group them up on this fat chick. And just. Did it work? Man, this thing's pretty tanky then, holy shit. I thought I would do at least half his HP. Oh, get out of that. Okay. I think I dodged it. This thing sounds disgusting. Reminds me... I, I'm sorry, I'm gonna keep like... Saying this reminds me of this, this reminds me of that. I don't know. Um, the guy from uh, Diablo, the fat guy with like the, not Asmodan, but the really filthy guy, like farts and spews out green poison. Okay, let's group them all on this guy. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he just got healed back to full. Damn shamans. That's crazy how he heals them to full. That's a lot of HP to heal. Just gotta do it again. I'm 
just standing and shit. Oh, I'm not losing HP, so that's fine. You'll never take me like that. Oh, ouch. Yeah, I should probably not stand in that place. <clears throat> Some heroic boots. Oh, it's pants. I should have pants now. My guy looks metal as fuck. It's so cool. You hear the um, the god shout when you use its skill. Oh damn! What the fuck? Probably should have saved it. I gotta definitely be careful now. Don't toy with me. Oh no! Just strike the fatal blow. Okay. Ouch, 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 ouch. Oh man, I ran right into it. I keep running into it. I can't really see where he's out of focus. Couldn't really see where he was uh, tossing it. Right, let's just do this. Damn, dude. Okay. Miss my leap, that's okay. Ah, oh, shit. I don't think it's gonna hit me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, let's just finish him off. Nice. Okay, so now he's starting to get gear. Like, instead of just like this wrapping cloth bullcrap. Second, give me one second. Sorry about that. I would put the whirlwind in instead of the um, my right click, or what's it called, shred. But shred heals me. Scoop them all up. Fuck the shaman's gonna heal. Damn it. Ability on this guy is going to be insane. It was already insane. Once we get a bunch of a big pack, I'm going to use my blood bust so we can get a bunch of fragments. I think that's the best way to get fragments is to kill 
uh, enemies with your bloodlust ability. We'll test it out here in a second. Um, critical damage. I lose HP, but I gain damage. That's all I care about. Straight damage. Okay, uh, is this a good amount? Yeah, let's use it here. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. It's like Christmas. I'm gonna make sure to go get them. Let's go get them. Yeah, that is the best way to get fragments. Holy shit. Go kill the shaman. Okay, we have not This thing sounds disgusting, dude. Why does it sound like that? Oh god. I kind of want to group these three up. See if we can. Use our ultimate ability. There we go. Damn, they're gonna stun the shit out of me if I don't be careful. There's one. Nice. All right, which way do we go? Not up here. Oh, I see it. Uh, I'm gonna check if there's a chest over here, though. <clears throat> and sorry for the doggos. That's the path to Kessler's lair, or I'm no dwarf. Now to head back to Null and give Tactless the good news. We have him. Kessler's trail mm. led to an ancient cavern that connects to the sewers. It's part of a network of caves that run for miles to the west, beyond the edge of the city. <sighs> now we know how the servants of chaos were getting into the sewers. There's an ancient set of ruins west of the city. Perhaps that is where the enemy's camp is hidden. I do not doubt it. Prepare yourself, braggy axe biter. There will be hard fighting ahead. Re awesome. Okay, leveled up, and I think the next fight is a boss fight. So we'll go ahead and leave the episode here. Um, I've been going on for pretty long, about four, 34 minutes, but I think boss fight's next. But um, make another video right after this. But thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video.